Times Influence. In pursuit to make India an open defecation free nation and find sustainable solutions to sanitation and cleanliness, the India Sanitation Coalition, along with FIKI, co created a platform not only to address the issues and challenges in the sanitation space but also empower and recognize various individuals and stakeholders for their relentless efforts across the sanitation value chain. Standing testimony to the motto of Build, Use, Maintain and Treat, the two-day conclave was flagged off by the welcome address by Nana Lal Kidwai, Chair, India Sanitation Coalition. India has indeed moved well beyond construction of toilets to behavior change and indeed on the ODF journey. Moving forward, we need to ensure that our activities are aimed at maintaining the ODF status, that we continue focusing on behavior change and reinforcement therein, that adequate investment and finance come into the space, that the planning and providing for treatment of waste gets well-deserved attention and most important that we begin to see businesses that see the profit that comes from being players in the space. So the models for small and big business that enable sanitation to become part of the agenda of the country as a business mission. And who better than FIKI to help ISC to achieve that. So on that note, let me end by thanking you all for being with us today. The ISC FIKI is uniquely poised to galvanize the program stakeholders into action, not just for ensuring a sustainable, uh, open, defecation-free status, but also for addressing a host of sustainability issues. In an ODF India, there is a great potential for FIKI to play a leading role in the core issue with government support that are, that are relevant to the context of the sanitation in the country. Uh, what I want to assure you is that FIKI remains committed to this program and uh, you know we will continue to support our partners, we will continue to support companies and entrepreneurs, particularly from the small and medium sector in this space. And FIKI has plans, uh, is drawing up plans to aggressively be the leader in this space in terms of a organization which will bring all the people together. Esteemed guests and uh, dear partners uh, of the India Sanitation Coalition, a very warm welcome. Launched just a month shy, four years ago to date, uh, IIC Secretariat draws strength from our being housed in FIKI. Uh, the fabulous support of the FIKI event management team and the FIKI media team that you see today is actually a testimony to this particular strength. The consistent support by BMGF has been a key factor in ensuring that IC Secretariat continues to function. Thank you very much and we don't miss a step. No action is fruitful unless the beneficiaries can recount how the intervention has helped them. In an effort to give a voice to these beneficiaries, the forum gave them a platform to come and share their experiences. I want to tell you some of the benefits of my family. In the first time, our mother and father were very proud of drinking water. But the government's government's government, we got a lot of advice from the tanker. I heard that the first time, the first time, the first time, the first time, पीरियड्स के लिए गंदा कपड़ा यूज़ करती थी जिनसे कई बीमारियां फैलती थी लेकिन अब जैसे कि मैं समझ पाई हूँ मैं बड़ी हुई हूँ तो मैं उन्हें बताती हूँ कि सैनिटरी नैपकिन का यूज़ कैसे करना चाहिए और उसे पेपर में लपेट के टॉयलेट में नहीं डस्टबिन में फेंकना चाहिए ये सारी जानकारी मैं वाटर एड 
मैं फोर्स एन की तरफ से सीख पाई हूँ और मैं मेरे मोहल्ले के सभी लोगों को मेरे स्कूल फ्रेंड्स को भी बताती हूँ कि हमें स्वस्थ भी रहना चाहिए और जल की भी जल को समझना चाहिए कि हमें उसे बचाना चाहिए फ्यूचर के लिए थैंक यू हमारे विद्यालय में डीसीएम सी राम की तरफ से स्वच्छता संबंधी बहुत सारे कार्यक्रम किए गए हैं उसके लिए विद्यालय परिवार बहुत बहुत आभारी है पहले विद्यालय में टॉयलेट्स नहीं थे तो अनुरोध करने पर शुगर मिल के द्वारा हमारे यहाँ टॉयलेट बनाए गए जब विद्यालय में टॉयलेट नहीं था तो बच्चियों को बहुत समस्या होती थी और चूँकि वो जूनियर हाई स्कूल में बड़ी हो रही हैं तो उन्हें और भी तरह तरह की समस्याएं आती थीं तो उसी की वजह से क्या होता था कि नामांकन यानी इनरोलमेंट की प्रॉब्लम होती थी और बच्चियों का विद्यालय में ठहराव इसकी समस्या बहुत होती थी ये समस्या का समाधान करने के लिए जब विद्यालय में टॉयलेट बना दिए गए हैं तो बच्चियों का नामांकन तो बहुत चमत्कारिक रूप से बढ़ा है साथ ही उनमें शिक्षा के प्रति जागरूकता इतनी अधिक बढ़ गई है कि उत्साह देखने लायक ही बनता है पहले तो मैं घर गृहस्थी से जुड़ी हुई थी कहीं बाहर निकलने का मौका नहीं मिला था लेकिन एक ग्राम जल स्वच्छता समिति के मेंबर के रूप में मैं बनी और अपने ही गांव में राज मिस्त्रियों के साथ मिलकर टॉयलेट्स का निर्माण करने लगी और 611 टॉयलेट्स अपने गांव में मैंने बनवाए खुद अपने देख में और अपने ही राज्य से अन्य राज्यों में जाकर हमें काम करने का मौका मिला हमारे पति के गुजर जाने के बाद मैं अपने जीवन से टूट चुकी थी और मैं अपने पैरों पर खड़ा होना चाहती थी लेकिन धीरे धीरे मैं आगे बढ़ी और पैरों पर खड़ा हुई और अपने बच्चों का देख रेख अपना देख रेख खुद आर्थिक स्थिति से संपन्न हो गई और आज देखिए कि मैं यहाँ तक भी पहुँच गई हूँ थैंक यू After such invigorating speeches it was time to honor and recognize various stakeholders and individuals who are at the forefront of the sanitation drive in the country In the category of best corporate initiative in sanitation small industry the winner was Gender Robotic Innovations The next award was for the best corporate initiative in sanitation medium industry and Tai Technocrats was the winner. In the category best corporate initiative in sanitation large industry the honor was backed by ITC Limited. Next winner in the category of best corporate initiative in sanitation large industry was none other than Lixil India. In the category of best non-profit engagement model in sanitation urban the honor was given to Wave Federation. Next in line was best non-profit engagement model in sanitation rural category and the winner was Suham Trust. In the best financial accessibility model in the sanitation category the winner was IDFC First Bank. Conclave also witnessed a host of thought-provoking panel discussions on key themes in sanitation, including challenges, role of corporates in sanitation, role of women towards a cleaner India, 
bringing to the forefront some key ISC initiatives. The first topic of discussion was around public-private partnership in sanitation. Let me start by asking each of you to very quickly just mention what you do in sanitation and what it is that you believe will enable you to do better and more. For me, uh, the purpose has been to really uncouple the very strong connection that exists between health and environment, and sanitation is right in the middle of it. If you <coughs> compromise sanitation, environment gets compromised and health gets compromised. So how do we, through partnerships and all other mechanisms, uh, really break this nexus between health and environment is, is the most important question. Uh, you heard of uh, Suvida model uh, uh, out there uh, and some of the other initiatives of HUL. So our efforts has been to uh, do kind of set out projects, uh, let's call them lighthouse projects to begin with, to, to say that this is what, if we do, can help us do more, but then others have to come together and, and catalyze and scale it up and to make it exponential. I think that's what is required I, in my view. We look at sanitation not just as a standalone program. For us, it's a very integrated thing because for us, uh, unfortunately, wherever we are located, water is a major issue. So when we look around, we say that water, environment, sanitation, these are all so integrated. So I think one thing that we would like to you know bring in as a change is to stop looking at sanitation as a nuisance which has to be managed but rather looking at sanitation as an opportunity that needs to be leveraged so today we have models where uh, uh, there are community toilets linked to a biodigester and the gas is being used by the people for cooking food at home sanitation. we have uh, models where people have put up small household units to you know generate biogas from the animal waste and also the human excreta all put together from a biodigester and they are very happily cooking uh, food on that. So you know, when I am saying it, it looks very simple that you are cooking food out of your own, uh, of the gas that has been uh, you know, generated out of your own excreta. But I think it is a big mind shift, it is a very big change that has, that has come in especially such challenging rural areas. In fact, uh, uh, at LNT, uh, I would say that we do not have a separate program which looks at sanitation. This was something that uh, we practiced with the uh, community development programs that we took up in uh, rural areas or even uh, in the schools that we worked with. I think what's more important is, uh, um, you know, it's uh, when there is no sanitation, the easiest thing is to go and put a, a, a toilet there. But that's not all. You need to think it through like you would think through every business that you, uh, you know, kind of operate in. So right from the availability of water to creating the demand for that, getting community ownership, looking at sustainability, looking at what happens if there is a drought and there's no water available, would people go back again to the field? So these are certain things that you need to keep constantly uh, you know, engaging with. The next panel focused on understanding the synergies between health and sanitation and how sanitation is an integral part of health programs, highlighting the health benefits of sanitation. We look at health from a curative perspective. You know, how are we going to fix uh, somebody who has diarrhea? How are we going to deal with that? What is going to be, where are we going to take them? How is the healthcare facility going to support that? Or we look at it from a perspective of vaccines that, you know, can we actually administer a vaccine? for preventing diarrhea, uh, preventing uh, water and sanitation related uh, diseases. But uh, actually the real solution lies in safe sanitation. One of the biggest gaps in India's public health, both in the private sector and public sector, has been the lack of attention to preventive and promotive health. I believe 50% of the disease burden in India will de decrease with, not, with water, sanitation, and hygienic practices and care. I was seeing the Time magazine. On the cover of the Time magazine, it was written that the age of this child can be 150 years if you tackle the first 1,000 days of the life, which starts with the mom's life also. 
So, if a mom is pregnant and there are repeat pregnancies and if she is delivering frequently, what is going to happen is she will be having underweight and the underweight mom will be delivering the underweight child. And if you have a preterm child, the cost to recover the child is very high. So, it's all vicious cycle and mom doesn't eat much. Reason being like if she has to go poo in the morning and there is no space for that. So where will we go? Where she will go? And many of them work as a farm laborers and working in the geographies where it's really difficult. If this is taken care well and there is a fast tracking program, then things can move really well. Business of sanitation was discussed next, where eminent speakers deliberated on the necessary ingredients required to make FSM a viable business. We've been working as a foundation quite closely with both rural and urban ministries on the Swachh Bharat mission. And it's been very heartening uh, to see how quickly uh, they have actually absorbed the lessons, the advice, uh, listening to experts and try to bring that into policy, actually at a speed which I think is quite remarkable. When you talk about financing and to take make business, uh, you know, I mean, what are the business opportunities? We still feel that there will be uh, requirement of grants. The other thing that we are looking at is that, uh, you know, new models of funding. Uh, you have a lot of now talk about impact bonds. The government has already allowed uh, CSR funds to be used for uh, uh, funding incubation, right? So that's going to be one big piece. <laughs> The next panel discussed the role of media in sustainable ODF. This session primarily focused on the pivotal role that media will need to play as one of the biggest influencers of public opinion and also a critical behavioral change influencer. Here are some highlights from this discussion. This was one of the challenges that we had when we launched the Safai Giri uh, Awards in Singathon. And our challenge really was how do you make uh, a subject like sanitation and a subject like safai uh, um, attractive to uh, audiences. And we thought uh, that we were very bright and we came up with this idea of a day-long singathon. And uh, during the singathon, we also uh, recognized uh, uh, people who had done excellent work in the field of uh, sanitation. And one thing that we established was that uh, good news about sanitation and creating uh, awareness about real heroes in this area could be good business as well. And uh, we got very good ratings for event that we did and it created wonderful content as well, which we continued to play over a period of time. Arvind, I would like to understand from you that in terms of sanitation, Shouldn't we look at more towards, you know, bringing about awareness through regional channels or language channels? Well, certainly. I mean, if you look at, in fact, uh, from a media point of view, in terms of um, just circulation and reach, I think uh, the regional language newspapers and uh, traditional media has a huge reach. Media can play a huge role while exposing a lot of political issues. I think one of the underlying discussions all through the day has been a big issue with the, a very key ingredient in this whole cycle, and the biggest impediment is local, uh, local urban bodies. How local media or even national media can push and hold them responsible for delivering what they're expected to deliver. Day one concluded with a discussion revolving around innovation in credit finance. This discussion opined that alternative financial models will need to be explored to accelerate current progress and address newly arising sanitation demands. Uh, achieving ODF is great, but it's just one step. And the journey doesn't end here. It's all about sustainability. It's about treatment. It's about uh, maintenance, and all of this requires financing at every level. The bank is supporting in different ways. Everybody knows the 1.5 billion loan, which is also the largest ever loan the bank has done for uh, the sanitation and maybe water and sanitation combined uh, worldwide. Um, so we are, we are, and we are focusing, the reason why we put so much money on it is because the government put the emphasis on the long-term objectives. It's achieving, it's sustaining, it's developing the solid and liquid waste management so that the villages can have a clean environment 
and really get convinced that with this clear environment and the benefits it has in the community, this is something to carry on. I remember 10 years ago when Rockefeller wanted to give us $5 million and said, you know, use this for microfinance in India. And Grameen being Grameen said, no, we don't want your money. And then they insisted. So we said, okay, keep it with you in a bank. Give us an SBLC on the back of that. We will give that to banks to be able to lend to MFIs. And as the banks get comfort, of course, if there's a loss, you draw from that. But as the banks get comfort, then you know, make that a 2x guarantee and a 5x and a 10x and then lend without a guarantee. And we'll give that to another small MFI for another bank. And we were able to do $150 million on the back of 5 million. Day two of the conclave started on a very interesting note with a capacity building session hosted for NGOs where they were trained on how to make the perfect pitch for their projects to a proposed corporate, venture capitalist or a funding agency. I think the power of idea is the biggest here and if your idea is big, nothing can stop you from succeeding. This training finally culminated into an intense and enlightening Shark Tank session where these participants presented their ideas in a span of four minutes to an esteemed jury and received some valuable feedback. We do have a unanimous decision and uh, our choice is uh, Kamveda, Mr. Krishna. The most promising pitch by an NGO was awarded a lifetime membership with FIKI and India Sanitation Coalition and an opportunity to be a part of all their forums. The ISC FIKI Sanitation Awards and Conclave offered a stimulating experience with well-curated discussions, presentations and workshops along with a pinch of entertainment that gave a very important social message through the medium of music and dance. Partner by Times Influence.